Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So we found this in the bin. And this is a Kumba 2242-7C cassette slash DVD recorder player thingy. And this is a nice piece of retro equipment. So this has been sat on the shelf for quite a while and every single time I walk past it has really caught my eye. And that's because I've been wanting one of these for ages. So, I want to take this apart actually see what's damaged on it and see if we can repair it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start unscrewing screws. As I was taking this apart it occurred to me that maybe I should attach a plug, plug it in and see if it will actually boot up. So that's exactly what I've done and I've got a green light telling me that there's power coming through this thing. So the first problems that I can, I can see off the bat is the CD player doesn't work. Which is fine, we can see if we can repair that. And a couple of these inputs right here don't work. So the mic 1 does work, the mic 2 doesn't, and nor does the aux. Um, but again, these are things that are probably just have some bad connections or something along them lines. So now I know this thing will actually power up, I'm going to take it apart and see if I can repair these problems. So what I've done so far is I've taken the cassette portion out, and I'm just going to check over these electronics to make sure all the soldering joints look really nice. Um, there's also another problem that I found with this, and there's see, it seems to not want to click down on the record. I don't know if it has to be plugged in and have some sort of electricity flowing, uh, flowing for it for that to work, but I'm just going to double check that as well. So I've also taken this CD portion out, and it's just this massive block that I'm going to unscrew and see if there's anything wrong with this, because this wasn't powering up at all when we plugged it in. So I've finished putting together the CD portion of this CD cassette recorder. And I'm unsure if this is going to work, but when I took it apart, there was a few things that just weren't sat in the correct place. So I rectified that, and now it's time to put it back in to see if it will work. So I've put a cassette portion back in, and I've actually managed to get all of these buttons working, which I'm actually really glad about. They just weren't sat correctly. And obviously when I was doing the, uh, the CD portion of this, I had a bit of free time, so I decided to give this a lick of paint. And I went for a, uh, it's called a powdered blue colour, and this was the stuff that I used. And I think that actually looks really nice. See, we're actually nearing the end of this, so there's only a few things that I've got to do. And one is to re-solder these speakers, because whoever did a soldering job on these before did an absolutely terrible job. And I think that's why the right side speaker isn't working. So, I'm going to re-solder these and give it a bit of power and see if we can get this thing working. So I finished re-soldering the speakers and these joints are a hundred times better than what they were before. So with that now being done, it's time to put this back together, clean it up a little bit and see if it works. So now everything's been put back together, it's time to start testing some things. So I don't actually have a microphone that I can plug in, but I do have the Gibson guitar. So we can plug this in just to make sure that these speakers work. Right, let's give it a go. <laughs> so now everything's been put back together and we've tested that the speakers work it's now time to test this cassette portion and I actually picked up a couple of blank cassettes and I've already recorded a little bit of a song on here and uh, a little bit of microphone action too and for obvious reasons I can't play you the song but I will play you the microphone portion so take a listen to this So this is a quick test to make sure that the microphone is working. So here is the next track. How awesome is that? <laughs> Fantastic. So I'm really glad that the cassette portion of this recorder is working, but there's still one little problem, and that is the CD portion isn't reading discs. And I think the laser's gone bust, and I have taken it apart to clean it up and just to see if I can resurrect it. But, it seems like I can't, but that doesn't really matter because I wasn't really interested in this portion anyway. Now this is going to be my home station to listen and to record cassette tapes, and that was the main reason why I wanted it. And I don't know if I mentioned this at the start of the video, but the car that I use, it has a cassette deck. 
and I get really bored listening to the radio, and that was the biggest reason why I decided to fix this. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video, and I really enjoyed this one, and I'm super happy that I actually got the thing working, considering that it was completely bust when we started to repair this. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.